for Jesus. We love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. We're here for you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you that you saved us and you rescued us and you met us. We love you, Jesus. We're here for you. We're here for you. Our hearts are engaged. Our spirits are engaged. Do you feel that? Just the wind of the Spirit? He just loves when we engage. He loves when we acknowledge Him, when we lean in, when our thoughts are for Him. The things you think about God, He loves it. Keep leaning in. Keep praying. Just a few more moments.
How could I want anything else when I have you? How could I want anything else? How could I want anything else when I have you? How could I want anything else? How could I want anything else when I have you? How could I want anything else? How could I want anything else when I have you? You are my one thing. You are my one thing. You are. Find your lovesick ones singing. song to you is you are my one thing. You are my one thing. You are my one thing. We're lovesick. You are my one thing. You are my one thing. You are my one Okay, this is so good. We're talking and we're singing about seeking God, that He is our one thing. I want to read Jeremiah 29, 13. It says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. That God promises to us that when we seek God with all of our heart, we will find Him. We will find Him. And then later in Jeremiah, or earlier, and Jeremiah 9, 24 says, But let him boast, boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For these are the things I delight in, declares the Lord, that he delights when we seek him, right? That he delights when we know him and when we understand him. I want to read this study on seeking God. This totally changed my life. What does it mean to seek God? The psalmist well describes a man's search for God when he cried out, deep unto deep. And that the spirit of man, that the spirit of our heart longs for fellowship with God. That we long to seek Him. That we long to know Him. The very purpose of man's existence is to seek God. And failure to seek after God's heart results in spiritual death. And he promises that those who diligently seek him shall find him. That we find him when we seek him. I just want to press into this point because this actually goes into what intercession I feel like God is highlighting for universities. That there is the spirit of the Lord that is resting on universities. Why? Because students are seeking him and they are finding him. So can we cry out just with our hearts, with a prophetic declaration of what God is doing on universities, that we want to seek him. So can we press into this moment? God, we want to seek you. God, we want to find you. God, you delight in me when I seek you, when I understand the things about God, when I understand seeking him, when I understand finding him. Can we, can we say this together? I'm a big declaration girl. Can we just say this? Jesus, I will seek you. I want to find you, God. Yes, God, we just ask that in this moment we would seek your face. Thank you, God, that we are finding a piece of your face, a piece of your mercy, a piece of your kindness. Can we just press in for this next moment that when we seek God, we find him.
something so beautiful about coming into intercession and the Lord just encountering us with his love Isaiah 40 says but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength so I just feel that this morning that the Lord is renewing our strength that as we wait upon him even before we begin to intercede that when we lock eyes with the creator of the world, our strength is renewed. So Father, we're in no hurry. We're in no rush to begin to, to, to intercede because we know that when we see you rightly, God, our strength is renewed. So we just say yes as a body. Can we stand up together? As a body, Lord, we just say yes, Lord. We wait upon you, God. We wait upon you, Lord. And I thank you, God, even for those that are on tour, Lord, that as they are watching this and as they are waiting upon you, God, that you would begin to supernaturally infuse them with strength from on high. I thank you, Lord, that your word says that as we wait upon you, that you renew our strength. God, your word says, like Gabrielle said, that when we seek you, we find you. 
And when we lock eyes with you, God, we are made new. We are transformed from the inside out. We are being confined to your image, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for meeting us in such an intimate way. We will be a people that wait upon you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come and lead us, guide us, direct us. It says that they shall mount up on wings like eagles because the eagles don't continue flapping their wings. They ride the wave, they ride the wind. So Holy Spirit, we pray. Come on, let's just begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, to lead us. Come on, say lead us, lead me, Holy Spirit. Lead this intercession time, whatever you want it to look like. We make room for you, Holy Spirit. Show us how to mount up. Show us how to mount up on the wind of your spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We wait upon you. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I thank you, God, that you renew our strength. We won't grow weary because it's not our strength, Lord. It's your strength. It's your strength, Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would lead this intercession time, God. I thank you that we aren't just praying good prayers, but our hearts are gripped. We are lovesick intercessors, Lord. When we pray, we pray with burning hearts because we love you. We love you. We know that you love the lost. We know that you are desire that none shall perish. So God, we partner with you, intercessor. We partner with you, great intercessor. Lead us into intercession this morning, Lord. However you want it to look. Come on, let's just yield. We just yield to you, Holy Spirit. We yield to you, Holy Spirit. We yield to you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes, this is amazing. Okay, we are going to move, and I just, for the last few minutes, I want us to cry out and engage in our spirits for what God is doing on universities. But I want to stir your faith. This is what we've seen God do on campuses. Um, really, actually, these are just the testimonies of my personal tour team with my husband, but there are literally so many testimonies what God does on a college campus. I just want to read these super quickly. Last night, um, Chase was talking about 62 people literally gave their life to Jesus within three days. 44 of those were in a personal evangelism one-on-one, -on -one, literally in the streets and on universities. In an hour, in an hour, how do 44 people get saved in an hour just by people walking up to them? because the Spirit of the Lord is there. One girl got healed from chronic migraines. Literally, she said she's had chronic migraines since she was three. And she didn't know what it felt like for her head not to pound. I remember she got up on stage, we said, what did God do in your life? Can you share? Because it's, it's a testimony of what Jesus did, right? And she shares, and as she's saying, she said, I've had chronic migraines since I was three years old. Breaks down in tears, says, I don't have any pain. I'm fully healed. This is who God does. This is what God does. Another girl said she's had chronic back pain since she was nine years old. Literally by the second one of the girls on my team put her hand on her back, all the pain immediately left her. She comes up on stage two, breaks out crying, says, I don't feel any pain. Who is this Jesus? One girl, this is so crazy, attempted suicide two days before Carrie Love. She failed, praise God. She literally ended up in a hospital um, from a peanut allergy the following day. She had three EpiPens and she was not breathing. They put an IV in her arm. She took a breath for the first time. She was breathing. The, then following, that was the night she was in the hospital. That was the night of Carrie Love. Someone texted her a graphic said, I think you should come to this. She literally drives from the hospital to our event. She sits all night in the back. 
and she wrestles all day, all night, the whole service. Is this Jesus who He really is? Do I wanna give my life to Jesus? In a moment, this is so crazy. She's unchurched from what we know. She did not grow up in church. She opens her eyes and she sees an army of angels standing out the front of the stage. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, what? That's Jesus. There's nothing we could have said or done, right? She responds and gives her life to Jesus. The following day, she was connected to one of the students that go there. She said that she never felt the way she's felt before, that she feels free. It was amazing. God encountered her. Same thing, another girl literally testified. We just said, hey, if God did something tonight at Carry the Love, can you just raise your hand and come up and share? Because it, 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 it speaks to who Jesus is. This girl comes up. We Obviously, we don't brief them. We don't talk to them before. It depends on the night. And she comes up and she said, I was thinking about taking my life this weekend, but I met Jesus tonight and I know there's hope. I know there's hope. She got so encountered by who Jesus is. Now this is what God is doing on universities and college campuses all across the nation. I felt this verse highlighted. It's in Isaiah 59, 19. It says at the end of it, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And this is what I found when I was studying this verse. In the actual Hebrew language, there are no commas, which means when we read this verse, we can think the enemy comes in like a flood. But actually, the original Hebrew says, like a flood, the spirit comes in against him to prevail against him. So it's not the enemy coming in like a flood, but it's the Holy Spirit that comes in like a flood to prevail against the enemy. So I want us to agree with what the enemy has tried to do on college campuses, what he has tried to steal, kill, and destroy, the Holy Spirit we're seeing is coming in like a flood. So can you get with your neighbor? And I want us to pray this point out and just agree with the Spirit of the Lord. Get it with your neighbor. Two or three people. Yes, I love it. And I want us to agree with faith, like I said before. We pray with faith, knowing that when we pray and agree, God, let the Spirit of the Lord come in like a flood. We are agreeing in faith, knowing that God hears us and He will respond. All right. One, two, three. God, we agree that the Spirit of the Lord is coming in like a flood on college campuses. God, we agree with your heart, God, that you are prevailing against the enemy in the name of Jesus. So God, we declare that every demonic lullaby over universities is bowing its knee in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for the victory that is on universities, the victory that is on college campuses. You are moving, God, and we agree with your word that the Holy Spirit is coming in like a flood. agree. God, we just ask for every student to have clarity that you will speak. It will really bless our teams. Um, and let's just agree with that. So one, two, three, God, we thank you, God, that you're releasing clarity, Jesus. Clarity over every student for the next season. There's so much teaching, there's so much pouring out, but that people would leave, not with a ministry 
high, but with a hunger for the presence of God. So can you bless every person, every student, every staff, that they would feel a hunger grip them right now, even right now in this moment. So God, we agree, God, that a hunger would grip over every staff and every student that they would open their Bible and have just a revelation of the Word, the Word of God. Um, so let's just pray that out. Yes, that every staff and student would enter with a deep personal encounter with God's Word. Yes, thank you, God. So we agree. We agree with your heart, God. We ask that the spirit of revelation, God, would hit every staff and every student in the name of Jesus. God, we ask for personal encounters to encourage, to uplift, God. Give them dreams. Give them visions, God. Encounter them in their sleep. Encounter them in the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, God. Encounter every staff, every student in the name of Jesus. With your presence, with your mercy, with your goodness, God. How 
of praise for what God is doing and the storyline what's happening on universities it's Jesus so God we just say it's you Jesus it's you God it's you God the Holy Spirit you are coming in and you are prevailing against the enemy God we say we are grateful and we're grateful thankful people God we worship you Jesus can we just go a few moments longer of just thank you God so we thank you God we thank you, God. It's you, Jesus. It's you, Jesus. You are saving. You are healing and you are delivering, God. It's the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, we look to you. We say we won't touch your glory. It is nothing to do with us. It is you, Jesus, the spirit of Jesus. You are resting on college campuses and universities. You are pursuing your sons. You are pursuing your daughters. And they are finding you, God. They are finding you, God. So we thank you, Jesus. You are for us. You are for us and you love us. You love us. Thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you, God, for your love. God, we just give you this time. It was for you, Jesus, that you would be honored, that you would feel love, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. We bless your name. We bless your name. Name of Jesus, amen. Thank you guys for worshiping and praying with us. We love you guys. I'm not sure what's next. 10-minute break, amen. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.